Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and welcome to your November 2023 tarot reading for the next seven days. This is the general and love energies around you, current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way and the potential of you and each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It does help my channel grow, you know. And if you'd like a personal reading, my website is down below. If you'd like to hang out with me a couple times a week and talk about different topics and get a weekly general personal energy check you can join my membership as well we have an awesome crew over there so let's see this week for you my Aries all right everything is temporary divine timing all right so I love that energy I actually really do I know you don't want to hear the word divine timing but that could mean that the next seven days is this is divine time this is what you've been waiting for um, and you know I see funny memes all the time where it's like people waiting on their manifestations is it here yet is it here yet asking their spirit guides and their spirit guides are just sitting there like you know and it's like just be patient and here it is it's unfolding for you so whatever you are going through or whatever frustrations or this little time period it's only temporary and no that it is unfolding for you this week so let's see what else i get for you and what other energies you have around you and i will turn the camera over i know you love my face but let's get to the let's get down to the real business here all right entanglement all right so some of you are feeling like your hands are tied right and this could be the energy of like what do i do and this is where i feel like um everything is only temporary for you so just know that where you think your hands are tied where you think you have um, no control over a situation. This is where it's going to be complete surrender, especially in the Scorpio energy. And just trust that um, it's only temporary, whatever it seems like. And the more focus you put on it, the more it's going to create tension in your life. So just release, let go a little bit and know that it's unfolding um, for you. So let's see what other energies you have around you. What other energies do you have around you this week? I've been just really called to these cards uh, for the past seven days. I they've been given some amazing messages, and they've even been unfolding in my own life. So I always trust to use the cards that um, I get called to. All right, so I see in sync crew. All right, working together as a unit, a team. All right, so you may find yourself. Uh, coming together, pulling assets together, whether it's with friends, family, coworkers. Um, see, this is the card that's saying, it's the number three, it's Sagittarius energy. It's showing you that, uh, and it's all about co-creating too, and it's co-creating together. So it's coming in sync with somebody in your life, people in your life. So you have this energy around you. It may appear to some of you like it's not working out for you. And there's always so many working parts and the universe is continuously trying to make everything happen. So know that this is a week where you may be forming alliances, you may be working things out with people, finding common ground, shaking hands, uh, meeting new people, collaborating, doing new things. All right. So it's, it's only a little teeny knot for temporarily. All right, we have so some of you feeling lonely too, and if you're have you're feeling detached or confined, this week is the week for you to get out there and to be around other people, uh, connect with other people. It's not a week to be alone. It's not a week to close yourself off. Um, maybe some of you've been doing that. That is. You know, I was talking with an Aries in my membership, actually, and my son's an Aries and a lot like Scorpio energy, whereas we tend to are so independent, go within and shut down uh, when we have a lot going on or we feel like our hands are tied or anything like that. And it is a good to me. It's the way we need to heal. It's the way we need to take or separate ourselves and do our thing. Right. But sometimes there's also this energy of getting stuck in that too and needing to know when we have to go increase our energy or get out there and shift something, change something in our lives so that we can get back out there and not stay stuck in our little independent zone. All right. So this is a week not to seclude yourself. I mean, and that doesn't mean not to go within and, and always go within and find out what's going on, but there's opportunities for you out this week out there this week and I don't want to see you miss out on them I do see look at this Scorpio energy for you too so you've got Libra Scorpio Sag energy for you you have one three three 
is your numbers. And so this is telling me that it start, something started in Libra season for you. Some of you could have Libra in your chart. Some of you started separating yourself, feeling lonely during the Libra season, maybe during a relationship, maybe you were missing your person, maybe you're missing family, maybe you're missing, um, just missing out or feeling like you're missing out and you were getting into some sort of um, place. And then we see Scorpio season, this Scorpio season for you, this crystal ball, it's seeing clearly. So something is shifting within you and you are starting to notice. And there could be this change this week with that Scorpio new moon where you're starting to see things shift and you're seeing things clearly and you're starting to see maybe even having premonitions, maybe even having ideas. Follow your heart, follow your ideas right now. This is going to be a week of future planning for you uh, with that crystal ball. This is a week where you're going to have some sort of insight, epiphanies. And when you have this Sagittarius energy, it kind of feels like from this point on through the end of November, even though I'm going the next seven days and into Sagittarius season, it's going to be a very good energy for you of working things out with people, working, teaming up, meeting new people and making connections. So this is going to be just the next seven days. This is the start of it during the next seven days. And this is you coming out of an energy and really feeling more connected to other people and feeling like people are in sync with you. All right. So not feeling so alone if some of you were feeling that. Trust your gut intuition, trust your reactions, trust yourself this week. It's very important. Um, use discernment. You see clearly, you know clearly, and just keep following, following that that truth of yours. Okay. So let's see what else is coming towards you this week before I get into the love portion. This card just flew. Look at this. I love that. You've got the chariot card. So triumph, victory. This is the big victory of the deck, the big victory, right? Things are moving forward, full speed ahead. So finally having focus, finally, and this is all about focus and determination and willpower to get through. It's like, we uh, collectively, we all kind of client kind of going through some sort of muck. It felt like no matter how hard we were trying for some of us to manifest depends on where you're at in your spiritual journey and, and, and the way you, what you focus on. Right. But there was an energy collectively um, and not just with spirituality, but I've seen it and I've heard other people talking about it where people just felt like no matter what they were doing, where they were going, things were so uncertain. Things were just holding us back and our manifestations weren't coming in when we just wanted them to. And this is, this is showing you that it's moving forward. You're getting out of being unstuck. And it's also talking about, but you you have to have willpower and keep the strength to keep going. All right. Don't give up on what, and, on what you're thinking or what you're doing because you're moving full speed ahead. So things are going to pick up. Uh, the portal 1111 um, and the new moon in Scorpio really did mark some big change. And Scorpio goes deep. Scorpio goes into your spirit, into your soul. It's deep transformation. All right. So some of these things that you may be feeling or that you had to get through was a deep, deep stuff, right? That you're going to feel like you're letting go of this like heavy armor, right? And you're moving forward. Full, so you're going through some sort of deep transformation here. And from this point on, in through the next few months here, we're going to see manifestations accelerate. Uh, there's an energy accelerating for all of us. Um, and the more we tap into that energy and use that energy to our advantage, you're going to see that what you are hyper-focused on with that Aries energy, you're going to, you're going to win. You're going to succeed. All right. So let's see. Uh, love for you. All right. So I'm going to look at love for you. And I do it. I do it here um, because it starts the current person on your mind and then it moves into the new person potential and then the Aries and Pisces. All right. But this is the energy for the next seven days. And this can be this goes across the whole board here. Um, but each reading is its own individual reading. And I tend to pick up on a couple different energies because people have different scenarios. But this will be the energy that I'm picking up for general Aries um, for love this week, potential love this week. <clears throat> All right. We do see a temporary lover in the night. Some of you might be hanging out with somebody late night, right? And we have exotic act activation. All right. So I have a quick message about that and I won't get stuck on it, but sometimes we have sexual connection with somebody, right? It's meant to only be temporary. 
It's meant to sexually activate us. It's meant to open up that the root and 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 sacral chakra, and that contains a lot of our old wounds. It contains a lot of things that we need to um, to to be aware of. It's, we need to transmute these energies. We need to heal these old traumas. And this can be a very triggering relationship. It can be very full of chemistry. Um, it can trigger you so much. And then from this point, you grow from these relationships. A lot of people will get stuck in these relationships and, and will try to, to hold on to a relationship that's only meant to be temporary. You're just meant to, that you activate one another and you move forward. Now, sometimes though, sometimes you, there's the, the emerging was so powerful in a Scorpio season that Maybe somebody that was meant to only be temporary does turn into something a little bit more long term. All right. There's oh, I'm never going to tell you that nothing's possible. But I do know this energy of it really does open up. It can open up some old wounds and some trauma that needs to be healed. But I do see up in smoke here. So this could be a major trigger for some of you. Something that seems so deep and so, so important This is like energy could just disappear and go up in the air and it's, it may trigger you. And maybe this is what I was picking up in the beginning here when it was talking about, um, you know, it did say entanglement, energetic cords and bonds with somebody and ties. And it's about that knot that we were talking about, maybe cutting these cords with this person so that you can evolve. Because even in the spiritual process of love, when you find yourself in a situation like this, if you attach yourself to it, if you chase, the person's just going to run. So it's about uh, severing ties, severing cords, healing and moving forward so that you can evolve. And if you're meant to be together, you both will. I, I've, I've had that happen. So I'm speaking from experience. You will both, when you let go of each other, you will eventually heal and see each other and you'll see your other person heal but when you hold on to the situation that you um were in you don't evolve all right and i do see standards and boundaries for you so i am seeing and i see a long distance relationship with you as well so um for some of you you could be in a long distance relationship and maybe it's weighing on you and you're wanting to see your person you're wanting to connect with your person again you miss them there's a lot of love for them um it seems as though you may have some sort of deep communication with this person i do see that maybe some of you attempted to stray um you may you know something may happen over here but you know it's it's it is what it is I do see there's somebody at a distance from you and this is your perfect match. So whoever this is that you're communicating with, it may seem like there's a lot of space or time between the two of you. Um, there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of love there and just stay focused. You got the triumph card. Stay focused on what you're trying to manifest into your life. The two of you will come together, right? If this is a case where I'm picking up on an old story where you guys were activated. You guys will come together, but you've got to let go and you've got to do the healing work to move forward in order for this relationship to heal and grow. All right. Um, and I do see watch very soon. All right. So sometimes the way I describe the energies doesn't mean that it couldn't have happened. It won't happen in the future or it hasn't happened a long time ago. And then this is the time that something like this is coming coming up. All right. So we do see watch very soon. So let's see the current person on your mind. The current person on your mind and anything that spirit wants you to know, I do see a strong cancer in this reading, uh, especially with that chariot card. So overcoming some sort of obstacle with the current person on your mind. I do see Sagittarius and I do see Libra and I do see Scorpio. All right, so some of you are pretty burnt out, pretty stressed out, but it's the end of a tough cycle. All right, the overall energy, the 10 of wands. All right, the hardest part's over. 
your person, Nine of Pentacles. All right, so it could be an earthy energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody who's working on their independency. They're working on their financial status. They're working on their health, their freedom. They're, they look pretty secure. They look pretty happy and pretty secure and independent. This is somebody who has worked really hard to get where they're at, um, regardless of what area it is. And this is somebody who is ready for the next step. All right, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is showing like there's positive energy coming out. Their thoughts of you are positive. There's no, this person is over it, all right? Um, they've healed or they're over something or they're not here to, 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 to lie or, or say anything to you or cause any discord. The Eight of Swords in reverse is somebody who just kind of goes with the flow. They have positive thoughts and they think positively. So they think highly of you and they think positively of the future. Very, very healthy, secure person here. All right. And I have the full card in reverse. So they could be looking at you like you're the one holding back. You're the one uncertain. You're the one that, that um, is afraid to take a leap of faith with them. All right. They might feel like you're impulsive or you are um, withdrawn from them. They may feel like you have pulled away from them or they may just misunderstand you. Right. This could be where it's about shifting your energy areas and getting back out there and kind of doing your thing and being a part of the world again. Maybe you're not noticing that um, sometimes you're too independent because I can see the nine of pentacles, somebody who's so independent that other people don't know what to do with that. Right. Or how to respond to that. But it seems as though they look at you like you may have pulled away or that you don't trust them or that you're not moving forward or you don't want to take a leap of faith in the situation. But there is room for a fresh start here with that fool card. And I've got the judgment card here. So it could be a Scorpio energy. So this is, it seems to me that it's up to you on whether or not you want to move forward with this situation. The judgment card is talking about making the best decision for your highest self. What is it that you truly want? Um, for some of you, if you are the current person on your mind, if you're just so used to being by yourself and independent, and are you ready for a relationship with this person? Do you really want a relationship with this person? So what you decide to do this week with this person um, is going to change the course of your action. I do see somebody um, feels as though you're the one that is maybe putting a hold on this or acting like you don't want this, all right, or that you don't want to jump in. I see somebody here who really, really does like I said, think highly of you. I have the star card here. So coming into alignment, I don't know if this person has disappointed you before or if you're just lacking faith um, in a situation in your life or you just feel like um, this isn't this isn't what you want right now or you're losing faith in the situation. Um, it does feel as though if this person walked away from you, it was to, to build themselves, to feel more secure in themselves. Or this person needs you to feel more secure in yourself or be more open. All right. The star card says you both still desire each other or you both are coming into alignment with each other. Um, but there may have been some disappointment or you feel like there's a disappointment. You feel like it's something's not happening. Well, the judgment card is coming in to show that something is changing here. Something shifting. Something that you're wishing for is happening. So don't lose faith in the situation. All right. The 10 of wands is showing me that some of you may be overworked, overburdened, stressing out about other things. And you may be, um, sometimes we get so stressed out that we look at everything and we're like, just something needs to give, something needs to happen. Something needs to change. Right. Um, just to make me feel better in the moment. Right. Because it just doesn't, it just seems like you can't take anymore. Right. Or there's just too much pressure. And for some of you, there may have been just a lot of pressure put on you from another person and, um, you're just wanting something to give. I'm just feeling that the hardest part is over. And let me see how they feel about you. Um, because the star card is showing if what you desired, this person desires you. And there's potential here for the two of you to come to come together this week. Uh, let's see. You, I mean, you have the fool card, the star card, and the judgment card. And you have the chariot card. All right. Destiny took us down different paths. All right. So this could be somebody that um, you felt abandoned you or left you uh, for some reason. And maybe they're coming back around and you don't know whether you can trust it or not. Or you're losing faith that this person will come back around. I wish I could take it back. You are always on my mind. That star card. 
I feel you, right? And I feel like I'm not good enough for you as well, too. So they do feel like there's something that um, maybe you just need to open up this week and let somebody know how you really feel. All right. For some of you, there could be a fling this week um, to keep that in mind. Or there could have been a fling. There could have been something that turned that was just a fling, but might turn into something more that was coming through for you. So any of these scenarios can happen. But love happens in the strangest ways. Things happen in the weirdest ways. All right. So let's see the current, I mean, the new person potential on your minds. Let's see the new person potential on Aries' mind. New person potential. Nine of Pentacles. So you're still getting that Nine of Pentacles energy. So somebody who's pretty independent, earthy energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Three of Swords in reverse. All right. Um, so it does seem like this person is ready um, to move on from a situation. Uh, they could be, remember, they could be moving freshly from a situation that has um, that has hurt them, but they have forgiven somebody in their past. They're ready to move on. They're a pretty happy person where they're at. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in reverse says, this person has let go of the past and they're ready to move forward. I do have the Strength card. It could be a Leo energy. So this is somebody who's really strong, who's done a lot of healing. Um, and this is a bond that could grow stronger over time. So this is somebody who's ready for love. All right. And look at this, the 10 of pentacles. So this person is looking for their, their bond. They're looking for their one. They're looking for the one that they can be in a long-term relationship with. Um, maybe for some of you, this was a long distance relationship or this, it's been a while and you haven't found the right person. Well, the time is unfolding for you. And this does look like your perfect match. I'm getting a Leo with an earthy energy. So it could be a Leo Virgo cusp, could be a, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn with Leo rising, Leo moon, it could be anything like that. But I'm feeling like this is your perfect match. They may secretly admire you right now. They may be trying to get to know you. They may be acting um, mysterious. Uh, the high priestess can be, maybe it has the, the secret hasn't been shown to you yet. This could be the week where somebody is going to reveal their feelings for you or reveal themselves to you. It could be a Pisces or Virgo energy as well, too. All right. So let's see Aries through Pisces for you. And um, Let's see, Aries through Pisces, and this can be anybody, uh, past, new, whatever, all right? I'm going to pull from two different decks, <clears throat> and uh, see what I get. Aries through Pisces. Remember, not every one of these sections are going to all relate, so take the messages when they land for you, when you're like, oh, that's meant to be mine. Always go into a tarot reading with intentions and knowing what your questions are and what you need to know rather than just, you know, being open to whatever, you know, that leads for that leads to confusion for some of you. And um, and that's not what these are meant to do. This is just a section people like. And so it may not match what you hear in the first original message. So keep that in mind. All right. So Aries through. Pisces, Aries through Pisces, Aries through Pisces. Aries. All right. Lip service, right? But it says I can't seem to find the right words to you to say to you. So this could be you too as well, Aries. This could be that you really care about somebody, you really want to open up to somebody, but you just don't seem to know what to say. You don't have the right words to say. Um, and so lip service can be saying anything but the truth, um, or you're trying to say what you think somebody wants to hear, and it's not getting, It's this other person's picking up on it. Or this is you and somebody doing this to you, another Aries. Taurus wants their cake and eat it too. Um, 
they don't know how they feel anymore. It's like if there's a third party or they want to have their single life but still want to get with you every now and then, there's something shifting with them here. So this could be where I was picking up on the temporary lover where, you know, somebody is like, oh, I want to have a single life, but I want to hang out with you. Um, it seems as though their feelings are changing if they're a Taurus. Gemini wants to date you, rendezvous, and something is still missing for them, and they're trying to figure out what it is. So they might be a temporary date. They might be coming in and then leaving or date you every now and then, and they're just not ready to settle down just yet, or that's been the case. Cancer is the real deal for you. Cancer was the chariot card. All right, they feel safer right now in the silence. Maybe they're trying to figure out what to say to you, but this is definitely somebody that you could be in a commitment with. Leo is very transformative love, right? Leo is very strong for you too, all right? It's easier to just stay away right now. So this person might be going through their thing. They might be healing from something. Remember, the, the new person potential was showing that, but this is somebody that's going to come in and make change in your life. Could be Scorpio season, Sagittarius season. Virgo, Cupid's love, all right? They are so in love with you, all right? And I've thought a lot about you lately. So you may get some really flirty messages from Virgo. Uh, Leo, Virgo, I don't know, Aries. All right, um, Libra, love line revived. They want to get things going again, but they do feel like you guys are different or want different things. Um, so this could be a temporary situation or it could just be like, I just think we're different, but let's try it again, right? Scorpio, eye of the beholder, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So Scorpio is not your typical, but they miss you regardless of how things seem, all right? So maybe you're seeing Scorpio and you're not seeing the full picture. You and Scorpio are a lot alike, so um, it, that could be what's happening. You could be mirroring a Scorpio's energy, all right? But there seems to be a lot of attraction between the two of you. It just might not be seeming like that. Sagittarius, watch very soon, all right? I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Capricorn, exotic activation. It could be a Capricorn, guys. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. You could be getting sexual relations with a Capricorn this week, and you may get triggered. Uh, Aquarius, springtime energy. So new beginnings, love. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So you may get an innocent, honest apology uh, from Aquarius. Pisces, very loyal to you. Pisces loves you. My heart and mind always come back to you. All right. So you may be coming together with Pisces this week, um, who is just very in love with you. All right. I love you guys. See you soon. Take care.